Hello, Leo. Welcome back. We're going to hop right into it. Most of you know the deal. It's a general reading. Um, take it. Take what resonates and how it resonates. And if you have questions about booking a personal reading, link to my website description box below. Okay. So um, I feel like your energy has picked up since the last time I peeked at you, which is good. Um, you're coming up strong here with the Angel of Strength right next to the Angel of Balance. There could be a, a duo that is significant to you. It's I'm getting two females, like maybe partners in crime, you know, just maybe best buds, sisters. I don't know. One is definitely older than the other one. Um, that's just a little side note. However, you could be hanging out with this person a lot or they could be around you. Um, but you and yourself, you look pretty good. I feel like you're evening out here, standing strong as the lion, like you belong to be. And um, there's just a, a sense of like cooling in your nature here. And you have, what kitty? My, my kitty is trying to interrupt your reading. Okay, anyway, so looking good in regards to standing by yourself, your work, or school, whatever it is that you're developing, you're looking good here. You usually do come across pretty graceful. Great, great, <laughs> graceful. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Um, though I will say it's you struggle with inner turmoil, but I, I sense success for you overall this week and in the coming the energy around this time. You could be dealing with an earth sign. There's a lot of earth energy here, specifically Virgo. So you may have Virgo in your chart or the person you're dealing with could have Virgo highly aspected in their chart because it's just, but you know, one thing, Virgo, this could be symbolic as well for your nature. You could be behaving like a Virgo, you know, delegating very efficiently, um, in general, they're good workers, they're good manifestors, they're good creators. Um, spending time alone, most likely. But I think this is good because you had to figure something out. The universe was trying to tell you something. The universe wants you to be successful, and it's it was trying to tell you that, but you, you've been off balance in some sort of way um, for a while, so you were unable to focus on it. But I see you here kind of focusing more so this week. Um, and something that you're working on, if you're working on something alone or I'm sensing like out of your home, either that or you think about it a lot out of your home, it's, but I feel like you're working, you're actually trying to do something here, studying or researching or learning or even developing something it will be a success just so you know you have two guardian angels at least looking out for you over here i mean we've got two angels on the board technically three but one's a child so the child's a little distracted something about for those of you that have a child they may be kind of distracted into their own thing um i caution you as well leo children this child may have there may be something that you're not, that hasn't been revealed yet. Um, something they like to dabble in. Something like that. I don't know. Hmm. I'm also getting like antibiotics and a prescription. So maybe somebody may need, you know, it is... There's lots of stuff going around. So maybe there's just, you know, uh, not everybody has a child, but there's like something about a child here. So a little sister. Somebody, or somebody who's very childlike in demeanor. They may need antibiotics. Because <laughs> um, I'm just sensing something's hidden. Like something might start to partially come to surface. Uh, like peak peak out or like you know just 
some sort of subtle symptom of something. Yeah, I'm sensing there's just something hidden here. I, I apologize. This is very murky. However, I think... How many times have I apologized? Okay. But, um... I mean, it could be... I'm just getting childlike in nature. Okay? So maybe you're very childlike in nature. Um... Then, uh, you... you just pay attention, okay? <laughs> just pay attention. I'm stuck on it. I need to move on. I need to move on, Leo. Okay, so you also got um, man holding a heart here. So I feel like whoever the masculine energy is, is really coming across um, vulnerable this week. There is somebody that wants to offer you love, that loves you deeply, or you, this person, they could be, um, I mean, I feel like you have deep love for this person, to be honest. Some of you could be res trying, trying to resist a water sign as well. I was picking up on that. So I'm almost getting like, you could have two people interested in you or you are interested in two people, but I'm sensing like, hmm. yeah, for those of you that are getting in a commitment, I feel like, you know, that person is going to be more loving to you, the masculine energy in that commitment. But then I also feel as if there's somebody else that wants you to and um, and or you kind of have interest in them, but you're trying to resist. This person could be pursuing you or will be soon, but I'm getting very strongly that they could be a water sign. So however that applies, um, but this person would... I would say like send creative or like emotional things. That would be the key to kind of hint towards who I might be speaking of. Very emotional person, but very strong as well. Could be a little bit more silent. So yeah, there's dual energy coming in here. And I, I feel like, um, yeah, you may be trying to decide and trying to to balance things in your life and trying to decide what it is you want to do in general here. I do feel as if, you know, you are coming across strong, like you can manifest what you want. So I think your outcome, you know, you're in your power this week for sure. Um, but what is it that you want? Hmm. There could be an ending to some sort of living situation, home potentially a commitment. It's just something, you know, within the four of wands nature, something's going to change in regards to commitment or a home. I feel like this is specifically centered around two people, but it does not have to be romantic, guys. However, this feels good for you, but I sense that you're kind of, you know, in regards to this scenario, whatever this is, and I keep wanting to say home, but it could be a partnership as well. You're a little bit back and forth. I, I want to say like hot and cold or this individual is. And um, they could be, whoever you're dealing with could be kind of stubborn. And, you know, I think that might be, might make you like really back and forth with what you're doing. But a heavy earth energy. Yeah, I'm just sensing like an earth and a water sign here. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm getting for you. Okay, and then actually, I just wanted to, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before. I just wanted to see how it goes here. Um, I'm just gonna pull a card for you and the person you're dealing with and see kind of what energies we're coming into alignment with uh, around this time frame when you're watching this, okay? So, you know, you pick your side. I'll pull one card for each and you pick a side. What feels right for you, the other is the person you're dealing with. All right. All right, show me. <laughs> you could be quick to trying to resist fighting with somebody, but I think things like flip very quickly. It didn't even give me a chance 
to, all right, show me the energy for Leo, please. You're ready to move on from something. Hmm. All right, show me the energy of the person Leo's dealing with. But they want all, <laughs> okay, more earth energy. This, this person could be pretty financially stable right now or you, but there's something like, I almost feel like you're bound together over something. Or you feel bound to this person because I'm getting different energies here, you know, but you are, this is good. You're, you're trying to move, you want to move away from conflict. You may want to move on, but I, I think it more depends on how the situation feels. You know, you're not really down to be dissatisfied. You're going towards, you know, well, let's see. What are you going towards? Clarify. What? Oh, you're going towards your stability, foundation, abundance. Some of you may be coming into money. So I feel like you're really, really focused on what's tangible and what's in front of you and leaving behind things that kind of distress you and cause you worry. Uh, another card for who Leo's dealing with, please. Ooh, okay. So um, I saw the devil. I've seen the devil twice now. <sighs> I see they want to offer you something here. They've made a decision and they and they want to offer you something solid, but there's some why why is this devil here? Why is this devil here for who, Leo and who they're dealing with, please? Okay. So, I'm getting that there's a level of toxicity to this connection, but uh, I feel like there is happiness too. However, one person might be more obsessed with the other person and the other, you know, could be busy focusing on their work. They may travel for work, but somebody here is, is very fixated on receiving an offer or giving an offer and... I just, I'm feeling like you're coming across a little bit, I want to say angry with this person or irritated or, you know, you're tired of something always being the same. One more card, please, for Leo. Okay. So yeah, I feel like there's they gave me too many cards, so I'm gonna put them back. But I sense a conflict coming between you and this other person here. I think that, um, but they do they do care a lot about you, and they want to offer you something real. They really do. They don't they don't want to could be dealing with a Capricorn or again a water sign. I have Earth and water here. Um, this person could also drink a lot or more than you like or somebody may drink more than the other person likes because one person here is more focused on their money and the other person has kind of got this festering energy. They're like fixating on this connection, fixating on messages from the other person. One more card for Leo, please. One more card for Leo. Okay, gave me too many. I think you're undecided on whether or not you want to end this. Yeah. Some of you may be thinking about moving forward with somebody else or somebody's got like a water sign on their mind. Either you or the other person. You tell me, Leo. If you don't have a water sign on your mind, then maybe they do. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm... This is kind of interesting. I, I feel like for whoever this applies, you've been around this person for a while, so. Yeah. And I feel like it's you that doesn't know for sure if they want to end it. I'm, I'm not sure though. Somebody's trying to decide. The other person just wants to give love. 
but like a page. They want to give love like a page. And I think that could be what is bothering this individual who's looking to build an empire and a foundation. They're, the one person's a king and the other person's a page. That's a problem in a relationship. Pages and kings, they don't date. Not, um, especially not today. <laughs> So, too young, too young. Okay, so I'm going to close it off for you, Leo. Bye-bye. Um,